All right. So in this video, I'm going to talk about query rewriting and document re-ranking with cross encoder uh, methodology. Now, in a general rack system, what we have the setup is like what we also discussed in in our uh, Langchain playlist series is that we have a set of documents. Then we kind of load those documents using Langchain or any document loader. And once we load those documents, we can create chunks of those documents. So there are certain uh, methodologies through which using which we can uh, chunk the documents and create multiple chunks um, from our source documents. Once the chunks are created, then what we can do is we can use an embedding model to create embeddings for each of these chunks. Right. And once the embedding is created, then we store those embeddings in a vector store. And now once a user comes with certain question, uh, then that question goes through again through the embedding model and we generate the embeddings. And then we kind of pass that embedding to the vector store to do a, a K nearest neighbor search or a, a semantic search, which is actually similar, uh, which is same actually. So using that, we will retrieve uh, the semantic search results and then uh, those results will be sent back to the user right now this is uh, this methodology which we generally use in case of prag is very popular but this has certain drawbacks like this whole retrieval mechanism is solely dependent on the question right if the question is uh, not very specific to the user intent so we may get uh, different results or we will we may not get the desired output right so what we can do is we can do certain tweaks in this whole mechanism and um, we can add few things to get better retrieval so let's talk about that uh, methodology of better retrieval with uh, query rewriting Right. So as I mentioned, like the document gets loaded, then we create the chunk, then we create the embeddings, which get stored to the uh, vector store. Right. Now, once the user comes with a question, we keep that question. But what we also do is we kind of pass that question to an LLM and we kind of augment a different pairs or different set of questions based on the user given question. Right. So we kind of create a different variation of the same question, keeping the original intent of the question right so once that question is uh, multiple questions are augmented and multiple questions are generated then we also create the embeddings for those each of this question and along with the original question what we can do is we can then pass it to the vector store to do a k nearest neighbor search or a semantic search and uh, we uh, believe that once we do that we will get more documents retrieved Right. So uh, now the retrieval would be much more uh, than what it was previously using the original question. And once the documents are retrieved, then using the original question, what we will do is we will uh, send this pair of original question along with the documents to a cross encoder. And that cross encoder will uh, give us uh, the semantic similarity between the questions and the documents, which will be used to rank the documents that has been retrieved right and once the ranking is used now we will uh, we assume that the documents with higher rank will come fast and that would be more uh, uh, correct answer to the question that has been asked right so once uh, that is done then we kind of send back the result to the user Right. So if I just add and demonstrate the steps here, so what we are sending is this is my original question. Then using LLM, we will augment that question, which will be a same intent, but a different types of questions. Right. So which is like question one, two, three, along with the original question, which is uh, Q. Right. Then or we create embeddings for each of these questions and that embedding uh, we use to retrieve more um, relevant documents which is of a different flavor to the original question right so once the document is getting retrieved then what we do is so say that we retrieve document d1 d2 and d3 then we kind of create pair of this original question and document and using a cross encoder we will rank each of this uh, pairs right question uh, question and d1 uh, question and d2 and question and d3 right so using the 
uh, cross encoder we will get a score for each of this and then using that score we will uh, re-rank this document so maybe the uh, document 3 is more having a better score that's why that is coming first then the document 1 and then the document 2 just a hypothetical uh, scenario of the output of this uh, cross encoder then we uh, retrieve these documents and we send back these documents to the user right so i hope you uh, got an initial understanding of what this uh, this mechanism is doing and now let's talk about what this uh, cross encoder is right so we uh, if you look into the sentence transformer documentation there are basically two types of encoder one is by encoder and then there is cross encoder so this by encoder generally uh, passes through each of the sentences individually to a sentence embedding model uh, which is kind which can be a BERT then it produces embeddings for each of these sentences uh, that is like not dependent on the pair of the sentences you can individually pass these sentences then create the embeddings and then use a cosine similarity to get a semantic score right but in case of cross encoder what we do is we pass both the sentences simultaneously to the transformer network and then it produces an output value which ranges between 0 to 1 which indicates the similarity of the input sentence pair right so uh, the example which we were uh, showing right so first what we will do is we will send question and d1 right so then we will send like question and d2 so for every pairs it will uh, give us a score like say for this the score was 0 0.75 the question d2 was like uh, 73 and the question and uh, d3 got a score of like 0.90 right so then using the scores uh, the documents will be again re-ranked so the document 3 will come first uh, then the document 1 will come and then the document 2 will come right so this is actually the re-ranked document of the original uh, documents that we have in the vector store so these documents also can be uh, a chunk of the input text but just for the uh, sake of understanding i am saying in documents instead of the text chunks right so with this uh, we can get uh, better uh, results based on the uh, this cross encoder methodology where we are generating um, we are retrieving different uh, type of documents by using a query rewriting methodology and let's see how this is getting implemented in the code and with the with the help of the code you will get a better understanding of how this is working okay now let's look into the how the code is actually working right so these are few of the imports which i am doing then uh, using a directory loader i'm loading few of the files which i am using as a uh, source data for this uh, creating this rag based uh, approach so if i uh, go to the source folder so there are two texts are present so this is actually a data downloaded from kaggle where the first text uh, talks about japan and the second one talks about uh, sports uh, news and where uh, this uh, player like, like McIlroy is talking about winning a Madrid uh, title, right? So these are like two types of documents which we have. One of them is like a, a kind of a news which are related to industrial revival of Japan. And uh, the sports is another category. Based on that, there are certain news. So this will be like, if we plot these two documents, those would be like very far from each other, right? Uh, once we create the embeddings. Okay, now using this uh, directory loader from Langchain, I have loaded the documents and once that is loaded, so using this recursive uh, character text splitter, I'm creating chunks of those documents. And then I'm like creating this doc strings, which is nothing but the page contained for each of these uh, chunks, right? So once that is done, then I am importing the BG embeddings. So using the BG embeddings, we will create uh, the embeddings for each of these chunks. And then using the Chroma vector store, uh, we will store those documents in the uh, vector store, right? So if you are new to this concept, so I have a playlist of Langchain where I have discussed each of these components in very much in, in detail. So you can go to that and have a refresher uh, for these topics, right? So once we... Uh, create a chunks of those documents and also initialize the embedding model then we will kind of create uh, the vectors uh, all the vectors for each of those chunks so using this doc strings we will uh, 
this doc strings will be passed to the embedding model and we will get the vectors, right? So once the vectors are done, then we will create a retriever. Um, so at first we will load the documents to the Chroma vector DV, then we will create a retriever, which will always retrieve the uh, top four uh, documents, right? So then uh, we will use a, a library, which is UMAP, which is nothing but a dimensional uh, dimensionality reduction technique through which we will uh, kind of reduce the high dimensional embeddings uh, to a two dimensional embedding vectors for each of those documents so that we can visualize this whole process right so once uh, we initialize the u map then we will uh, transform those each of these vectors which will convert each of this vector to a two dimensional space right so if i just transform the first vector so we can see like that has been converted to a two dimensional vector which we can and then use it for the visualization purpose, right? So then I have created a function with the name of that function is embed docs, which will, uh, which that we using this function, we will transform the vectors to this uh, two dimensional vectors using UMAP, right? So once that is done, uh, what we will do is we will uh, create a base UMAP vector. So which is nothing but all the uh, chunks that are present in this uh, vector store. So we will create uh, a UMAP based vector representation for each of those uh, chunks, right? So that we are calling as base UMAP vectors, right? Now we can visualize this embeddings. So we can see like clearly there is a two set of clusters that are present. So one of them might be like sports and another of this vector clusters are nothing but a category of uh, news of uh, Japan, right? So once that is done, then I have created a function which will take the query and also the embeddings, the retriever, the UMAP uh, transformer and the base UMAP vector, right? So what it will do is once we pass the query, it will uh, 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 it will map that query and it will create an embedding of that query and then it will map it to the vector space, right? So the query is this, tell me about uh, Japan's industrial growth. So you can see like the cross section is the question and the cross, uh, and the retrieved vectors are the uh, vectors which are very close to this vector, right? Uh, so that has been pointed out here also using like green dots. So for this, again, this questions why McIlroy is confident about winning Madrid title. So based on that question also, we can see the question is the cross mark and the corresponding, uh, the four vectors which has been retrieved using vector store. Those are uh, pointed here. Right. So it might be the case that uh, this four vector is actually not the answer which we are looking for. Right. So that's why we will kind of use a query rewriting feature and then we will uh, use a cross encoder uh, to re-rank these documents. Right. So I'm um, using the utils which I have used in my other uh, uh, playlist series. I'm creating a Mistral uh, Mistral LLM, uh, which is uh, part of the uh, Together API, and after that, I'm creating a Pydentic parser, which will just uh, which will act as a line listed output parser that I will use. And now this is where I will do the query rewriting, right? So where I will pass the actual question, then using this prompt, I will. Uh, try to create a different flavor of those questions and we will try to augment the question and create augmented version of the questions, right? So uh, this is actually, we are making a call to LLM to create a different flavor of this question, the input question, and using those questions, we will retrieve more relevant documents, right? So if my question is tell me about uh, Japan's industrial growth, then we are passing this query to the query rewriter, and we are getting the augmented queries of those uh, particular question. Right? Just uh, doing some uh, string manipulations to create a list of all these questions. Uh, which we will use in the downstream process. Then using this augmented queries, what I am doing is I am uh, looping through each of these augmented queries and retrieving the documents, right? So these documents are stored in this docs uh, variable. And then what we are doing is we are, uh, so it might be the case that uh, these documents, like the documents that has been retrieved for each of these five questions, they have some overlap, right? So the same document can 
can come in the uh, different augmented queries, right? So we are uh, we are doing this process just to remove those duplicate values and creating a set of unique contents or the unique set of documents, right? So once that is done, we are initializing the cross encoder, then we are creating a pair of the original question along with the retrieve documents, retrieve unique documents, right? So you can see this is where I am creating the questions along with the uh, retrieve documents. So we are just creating the pair of uh, the question and the documents, right? So once that is done, we are passing through the cross encoder to get the scores, right? So the score is actually telling you how semantically similar the document is to the questions that has been originally asked, right? Not the augmented questions that we have created. So the purpose of creating the augmented question was to retrieve more documents. Then once we retrieve those documents, we will create a pair of original question and the uh, retrieve documents, and then we will get a score. And based on that score, we will re-rank the documents, right? So using this score, we will re-rank the documents and uh, these are actually the re-ranked documents using the cross encoder output right so with this now you can like pass this documents to llm to uh, give a more concise answer to the specific question right so this will also using this cross encoder it will also ensure that uh, the most relevant documents to the questions are getting higher weightage and they will come at the first level of retrieval right so with this, I hope you got an initial understanding of how this works and how this is actually implemented in terms of code. Um, and you can use it for your uh, rack pipeline and get better retrieval and uh, better rank documents based on the input question, right? So with this, I will end this video. Uh, thank you. See you in the next video.